What is up, guys? Oh, welcome on back to TK's Garage. And YouTube is changing. And I don't think it's for the better. Let's talk about it. Good morning, guys. Welcome on back to TK's Garage. Today, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about, just got done having my bagel and my breakfast and stuff. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about um, changes to YouTube and, and, and why I really don't feel like they're for the best. Um, we'll discuss it. So, YouTube recently came out with a policy, and I understand that they're trying to get rid of um, gun channels specifically. And I, I can understand where they're coming from. With it, you know, it's their platform, it's their belief system. They can do whatever the hell they want. Um, but they also made some changes where now, if you say anything that could be deemed, you could say the word. I want to make sure we were at least seven seconds in. We are. If you say the word damn, you get demonetized. Damn. 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 Really damn. Now, I get if you say mofo or eat a dick or, you know, shit, fuck, goddamn, whatever. It, it, what, any of those words in the first... Okay, I, I get it. But, look, I've made this clear from the beginning. And there's a, there's a little tab that you click in the app... That says these videos are not made for kids. You have advertisers that advertise. Okay, let me put it like this. Some of the same advertisers that advertise on my YouTube channel are the same advertisers that advertise on stars on shows like Power or HBO Max um, with Tulsa King. I don't know. I think violence, people getting shot and killed and beat with bats and, you know, talking about effing people's moms on TV is probably a little bit worse than me dropping an S-bomb in a YouTube video about cars. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I, I, I don't get it. I can't really complain about it. It is YouTube's platform. They can do whatever they want. For me, and I can say this again, you know... The YouTube revenue, what I make off YouTube, doesn't make or break me. It doesn't. The only thing the YouTube revenue does for me is it allows me to do other stuff on the channel. That's it. I It just keeps me from having to spend my money out of my pocket. That's it. So, it's not the end-all, be-all for me. But, I know some people where this is their job. Like, they've quit. They were working at universities as professors and shit. Or... They were, you know, automotive technicians at a dealership and they've quit because they're doing these videos for YouTube. And if now you could, I, I'll give you an example. I, I did a video here recently and I show you how much you can make off an individual YouTube video. One specifically about repeater boxes and, um, and Mopars and how easy they are to steal. That video has made me like 3,500 bucks now. One video, right? Now, if you have somebody and they generally make a video, maybe one or two videos a week, now I make a video every single day, sometimes two a day. But you have some people that may make just one video or two videos a week. And if you demonetize that video because they bust their knuckle while working on a car or something and say shit, like, I don't know, most adults would probably do, or F, or whatever... Uh, you're taking away half of their revenue and they're doing that full time. I just, I don't know. I, I, I heard that they were going to change this back and this was not going to be a thing because now if there's anything that's deemed, deemed, not an actual swear word, if they deem something to be a cuss word in the first seven seconds, they will demonetize your video. It basically means you'll make nothing off the video. If they think you're doing anything risky or anything like that in the first seven seconds, 
you will be demonetized and make nothing off your video. So that means like the hook, the first couple of seconds that you post to try to keep people interested uh, to stay on the video, there's gonna be nothing. So, you know, I have I have an idea. I have an idea for creators and I, I, I think it would be, one, hilarious, and YouTube would probably be pissed, but I think it's hilarious. Maybe everybody should just um, post a seven second intro like seven six five four three two one whatever to get into all right now we can start the video because if you don't you risk the the the, the possibility of them slapping your video and you making no revenue off of it and i kind of think it's a a rebellious way within the rules of youtube of basically telling youtube to go f themselves with this new policy so hey you know if you start seeing a ton of videos and the first seven seconds has like the old tv joint with the countdown or maybe it's like show start soon please stand by for the first seven seconds that would be hilarious i think that would be absolutely hilarious because it just means everybody's gonna skip forward for the first seven seconds, like, and you can put it in with chapters on your video. So you can just skip the first seven seconds and then actually get into the video. I, I think that's gonna be a new thing now. Uh, and you know, unless YouTube actually decides to do the right thing and leave things alone where they were, but I know that that's probably not the case. I know that they published something and saying that they were gonna change it back and I haven't seen it. So anyways, my random thoughts and ramblings going to mcdonald's here to get my coffee i thought it was something interesting um hopefully you thought it was interesting if you happen to make youtube videos and this uh pisses you off or bothers you let me know what you think in the comment section down below i i, I can tell you right now that this is just um this is ultra stupid uh, it's a dumb policy and i just don't see uh I just don't see this being fruitful. I understand YouTube wanting to become more advertiser friendly for more advertisers. I get it, I understand, but this is just not the way to do it. It's just not the way to do it. I just don't see it. I think it's a, a waste of all of our time uh, and for some of you guys, your money. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. See you in the next one.